Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today is the start of the novella of thon Hi, everyone. Today is February 6th, the start of the novella of thon This is a readathon that me, Samantha, Tiffany, and Rachel all put together. I'm going to be linking these ladies below, obviously. I love them, and I love reading novellas so much with them specifically. I feel like our group chat is just going to last forever <laughs> that we made for this readathon because we just keep sending each other novella recs. Like this whole month that we've been planning this, I have too many books by TBR because of my friends. <laughs> all we do all day is send each other novella recs. I'm like, dang y'all, I'm so excited to read these. It's even more books on my TBR, but y'all are putting too many books on my TBR. But it's okay. <laughs> so today's the first day of the readathon. It is around five o'clock at night, not night, evening time. Do y'all say night or evening for 5 p.m.? I don't know. Um, but I just got off of work about an hour ago and I wanted to give you an update on what I've read so far today. I kind of want to do, I feel like, daily updates and maybe just pop in every now and then whenever I read a book. I'm going to try and see how many novellas I can read in a week. However, I just started this new job and so I am at this job from 7 a.m. until uh, four o'clock every weekday. So, uh, five out of the six, seven days, sorry, seven days for this readathon, I will be full-time working. So, um, I will not be able to read as many books as I used to be able to. Um, so we'll see what I'm able to read, but I've already finished one novella and I am 25% of the way through another one. The novella that I did finish was on my TBR. This is The Stranger by Cassie Mint. I did start this last night and then like finished it uh, earlier today. So um, I'm counting it because I did finish it. So this is a Cassie Mint novella, obviously. It's one of her newer releases. And I, I vibed with this one, y'all. Like I was so into it. This is the romance between a heroine and our hero. And there is this masquerade ball that happens once a year. I don't know who puts it together, but it's just a masquerade ball that happens once a year in this town. And our heroine and hero end up bumping into each other every single year for I think like five years or something. They haven't been able to find each other in real life. So this masquerade ball is like the excuse to be with the person they think about all year long. That's all I'm gonna leave you with because I don't wanna spoil anything but I really enjoy this I think I might give it 4.5 stars because it was just so good like I really liked it just a sweet hot little masquerade novella give me a masquerade book any day I love masquerades and so that added just like even more love to this book for me so I really enjoyed this one and then I'm currently reading Sweet Valentine by Aubrey Penn I saw this um post on Instagram if I remember I'll link it down below about a bunch of Valentine's Day romances I didn't know about. Like I looked and scoured Amazon for Valentine's Day romances like me and my friends did and then I couldn't find any and then all of these pop up in a um, Valentine's Day post on Instagram and I was like oh my gosh I need to read all of these because I want to read more Valentine novellas and a plus is that all of these I believe are black love romances. So Yes, and this cover is beautiful. All of the covers that I saw for that post were stunning. So I was like, oh my gosh, how have I not heard of any of these? I need to pick them up now. So this one, I don't really know what it's about because I dove in kind of like blind, but what I know of it so far, our heroine and hero are both like famous people. I think he's a famous athlete. I don't even remember what athlete he is. I don't know if he's a football player or a basketball player. I don't know. <laughs> I was reading this like in between breaks at work. So uh, my memory is kind of like shot, but um, he's like famous in the sports world. And I believe she's like just a famous celebrity. I don't know what she does. But she might be an actress, I think. Um, our heroine is. And they both end up staying in this hotel on Valentine's Day. She needs a getaway from a very busy year and decides to go to this like remote hotel. And then the hero's jet ends up breaking down and they have to stop. And this is where they stop right by this hotel. So he checks in at the hotel and they're like the only single people in the entire hotel. Everyone else is there as like a couple's thing for Valentine's Day. So I think this is about the two of them like 
getting together on Valentine's Day. That's all I know. The two of them just like met. They ended up like spending the day together. Like they met each other at dinner the night before and they weren't the nicest to each other. So they apologized in the morning and they decided to kind of like spend the day together. And she kind of like tried to teach him how to ski, but he fell, it was really cute. So I'm looking forward to reading more of this. I'm going to be filming a video for my channel. And after that, I will get to reading one that I am going to be reading immediately because I'm going to be listening to an audiobook while I clean up and get ready for tomorrow and everything. I'm going to be reading ooh, this book by Emma Castle. It's Is it called Desolate? I can't recollect. Um, I don't know what it's about, but it's a very short novella and I love this author's works. And so I'm gonna pick that one up, I know for sure. And then the two books that I have physically that I might try and squeeze in that I forgot to put on my TBR are these two novellas. These are the only two novellas I think I own on my shelves that I have not read yet. Um, I might do a reread of The King's Spinster Bride because like, that's an all time fave. Anyway, um, this one is Can't Escape Love by Lissa Cole. My only issue is that I think this is like book number 2.5 in the Reluctant Royals series. And I've only read book one. So like, I need to like, text Brie because I know she she's the one who gifted me this because she loves this book. I need to text her and ask if I can read this as a standalone um, because I know she is a wheelchair user. And then the other novella that I have is this one. It's called Love in the Library. I think this might be new adult like college-y but it's like a book I could knock off of my physical TBR and it's 123 pages. So this is a book like books I might read throughout the week. We'll see. I know this one does have an audiobook. So I might have to go check out Libby to see how long the wait is for that. And if the wait is long, I might have to save this for another time because I do love listening to Alyssa Cole's audiobooks. Anyway, so that's my update for the day. I will either check in with you tomorrow or whenever I do finish Sweet Valentine if I end up finishing that tonight. But I'm going to go film film a YouTube video. <laughs> Happy day two, everyone. Excuse the dog crying if you hear him crying. <laughs> it's wet outside and we don't let them like throw the ball outside because then they'll get um muddy no we're gonna go we're doing it inside give me a minute okay anyway happy day two of the readathon i thought i would update you <laughs> oh my goodness you are the worst i thought i'd update you on what i have read so far since my last update i finished those two books um and then i did finish sweet valentine by Aubrey Prin, is it Prin or P Pim? I have to look that up. Um, I apologize that I do not remember. This one is really cute and really sweet. I like the fact that they are both celebrities and they didn't know that the other person was a celebrity and then they had this wonderful magical time together on Valentine's Day at this hotel. My only issue was like, it kind of went too fast for my liking once they found each other outside of that hotel situation. It just happened way too fast for me for my liking. I felt like it, would have benefited from being a full-length novel. I love novellas where after I read it, I'm like, that didn't need anything else. However, I want more. This one needed more things, you know? Um, but man, this was a fun read. Okay, I'll say that. So I really enjoy this one and I do need to pick up um, this author's other books because I want to check them out. But yeah, if you want a really good Black Love, like Valentine's Day romance, pick this one up. And then I am currently in this farmer book by Jessica Kane that was on my TBR. Um, I just was in the mood for Jessica Kane, And so I'm going to be reading that. I am like 20% of the way through our heroine. Her car ends up like breaking down in front of this farm and our hero, it's like freezing outside. Our hero ends up allowing her to stay the night with him because she her car died in front of his home um so she's gonna spend the night with him um but then i think things get a little bit escalated between them anyway um i am liking this so far also um i'm holding my diploma if you couldn't tell we it was missing <laughs> and we finally found it <laughs> it came in the mail like a month ago anyway i was bringing it inside my apartment because it was next door anyway um and then i plan to start this audiobook by kimberly lemming while i do some stuff and do a little workout or something like that i'm gonna listen to that one um i think it's on any play and i heard it's really good rachel raves about this book so i trust my girl rachel so i am going to be getting ready for tomorrow cleaning up my mess for today even though it is only like four o'clock but um that needs to happen this early because I go to bed early now and I hate that. I, I am such a night owl, but I have to go to bed early now. 
it stinks. And then also Tiffany just posted her day one of the novellathon. She's doing day daily vlogs. I had no clue. So I'm going to go watch that before I listen to my book though, because Tiffany is priority. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go do all of those things. Um, but I'm really liking this Jessica Kane one because our hero is so sweet and innocent, you know, and, um, like a huge brilliant man. Like he's one of those big boy romances and I love big boy romances. So I think I might love this one. We'll see. It's day four of the readathon. I know I skipped a day. Oops. Um, I just, I was not feeling up to being on camera whatsoever yesterday. Um, I was very tired, <laughs> very exhausting day. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. And yeah, I got to like have a little bit more of a role today at my job, which was nice because mainly I've been like shadowing and watching people. And so I really liked that part of today. And also if anyone's wondering, these are champagne bottles that my mom puts up on this chandelier um, every new year. And it's like champagne bottles with the years on them. So a bunch of different years of champagne bottles. Um, so if you wanna know why there's randomly champagne bottles hanging here. It's past new years, but I think she wants to like keep them up for as long as possible, but okay. Um, so I thought I'd give you a reading update. So I read quite a few books. I read um, The Farmer One by Jessica Kane. Um, this one was cute. I really loved this hero. I really did. I feel like I just wanted more from it. So I'm going to give it 3.5 stars. Like, I don't know why I rate things the way I rate things sometimes, but like 3.5 just sounded good. <laughs> I really did like this one. The hero is an innocent hero. He's really cute, really sweet. These two, well, the heroine's car ends up breaking down, not breaking down. It's too foggy for her to drive and it's too cold. And so she stops her car in front of this farm. The hero owns the farm and invites her to stay in his uh, like home with him for the night until the fall clears up in the morning. So um, I really liked this one. Then I also finished the group book, which is Cupid's Peak. I really liked this one. This one was really fun. Oh my goodness. I love like a good like second chance, not second chance because these two never got together, but they knew each other in high school and they both crushed on each other in high school. Like she was his tutor and he was the popular guy and it's 10 years later and they get set up on like a blind date of sorts by her twin sister and um, they have a Valentine's evening dinner together and it turns into something more in this like resort and they have some fun in a hot tub and in their room. Like it was really good. I really like this one. I think I'm going to give it four stars. And then I also finished today this very short novella that was on my CBR. It's called Rescued from the Depths by Ella Maven. Or is it L Ella Maven? I'm not sure. I'm giving this three stars, maybe 2.5. It just, there, there was not a lot going on, you know? So I don't really like alien romances where like the heroine gets abducted and puts gets put on this planet and she's seeing all these new things she's never seen before. She's like, oh, well, I guess I'll just roll with it. Like, no, it's kind of like a culture shock, you know? So I don't really prefer those. So the heroine in here gets put on this like island in the middle of nowhere. And she's like, oh, well, I'll just go with everything. Like this tentacle man ends up saving her and wanting her to live in a cave with him for forever. And she's like, eh, okay, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> I know it's like a supposed to be a novella, but I feel like it should have had a little bit more substance to it. So. I gave it three stars. I'm currently reading the Kimberly Lemming book still. I only have a few hours left. I'm going to finish it tonight. I am loving this. If you have not listened to the audiobooks yet, you need to because the narrator is so good. Like she's so funny and so good. Like I feel like she makes the book like like the humor of the book come out even more than it's supposed to like being written like in the written format. So I am really liking this one. Like these two have to go on like a quest together like a demon and this human named Cinnamon. And it's really cute, but you wouldn't think that this gets a little bit based on the cover, but man. <laughs> anyway, last update is Hold by Claire Kent. I am thoroughly enjoying this one. So this one's kind of sci-fi, but no aliens. So if you want a sci-fi read with no aliens involved, this is one you can pick up. But right now, the whole book has taken place in this jail. So there's this prison planet where the entire planet is water and the prison on this planet where like convicts go to, the prison is underwater. So if a, pris a prisoner even escapes the prison, like they would die because the prison is so deep underwater. Like you cannot even swim to the surface. Like you cannot hold your breath for that long. Our heroine is an archeologist and I think she ends up digging on a planet she's not supposed to and doesn't know it. And um, she gets, 
put in jail basically for forever. And there she's told that you have to basically woo or claim the biggest, strongest man in this prison to protect you or else it will be a frenzy for this woman. Like she will get hurt. And so she does that with Kane in here. I wasn't sure how I thought about this like at first because it feels very surface level, like transaction-y between the two of them, but they're really starting to fall for each other and he might be trying to perform a jailbreak, which is quite exciting. So I'm like 65% of the way through this and I really want to finish it today because I'm really liking it. So that is a very long update. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything to say life-wise update. Um, I've just been working I'm a working girl now, look at me. Um, but I do have a package I'll open. It's kind of boring because I know what it is, but um, I mean, it's some some type of content, you know? I think back when I started working in schools for college, I love wearing dresses, like dresses. I adore wearing dresses, so that's why I own so many and I wanna wear them all the time. The only thing is some of them are not school appropriate because some of them are too low cut. So I just have this crop top that's a tank top so it's a crop tank top that I wear under my dresses so it's a tank top that goes just below um my chest area um and I've worn that in so many of my dresses and I never get dress coded by the school or anything and um that that uh one that I own I own one of them and so <laughs> I've been like using it sparingly and um, that one's lasted me so long. So long that like the lettering on the back, like this part that like says what size it is and everything has worn off. And so I don't know if I got the correct size, but I got three more of those crop tank tops. I got large, um, I just, I was guessing, um, but they're really good to wear like under dresses if you have a too low cut top because you're not supposed to wear dresses if you bend over the dress gapes you know someone could look down your shirt you don't want that so um i wear these that are very wrinkly um and need washing so um i have i had a pack of three last time i only was able to buy one but this time you were only able to buy a pack of three you couldn't buy any individual so that's it i gotta go f e e d these dogs so i gotta go do that and then um i think i'm gonna just like chill out and like read in bed because that sounds amazing hi everyone happy friday that's ollie and he's rolling hi are you rolling are you rolling <laughs> we did you win Sorry for the chaotic background behind, behind me, behind me, behind me. Um, if you are not a channel member of mine, this is a typical new vlog space, space, vlog update space for me. Um, it's pretty easy to just sit down here, even though the bed is very messy. Don't pay attention. Um, but if y'all don't know, I actually have channel memberships, just by the way, where I do weekly reading vlogs for them. I post them every Monday. Um, but they're for my channel members. So that information is down below if you want to join my channel membership. Anyway, let's talk about some books. So I ended up finishing the Kimberly Lemming book and I think I'm going to give this one four stars. It was such a fun read. I really liked this one. The audiobook narrator just made it a thousand times better to me. Like it was so funny. If you want a really funny romance, you need to pick this one up. If you like um, want to get into paranormal and fantasy, I feel like this is a great starter book. I have to put this book under the category of a man who has a mouth on him because mm-hmm <laughs> I'll leave it at that but I loved like the fantastical elements in here like the paranormal creature stuff like I really like that that was really cool in here so I really like this if you want like a really funny romance that also has a lot of substance to it you have to pick this one up and then I also finished Hold by Claire Kent I know Tiffany and Rachel just finished this one too and I think I talked about this and I think I am also going to be giving this book four stars I really liked it like the dynamic between these two characters in this prison so interesting. I only gripe the reason why it's not five stars for me is because I felt like the ending was kind of rushed. But again, it's a novella. But like I've talked about this before, the, a perfect novella for me is a book that gives me everything I need, but let, leaves me wanting more. So I felt like this book didn't give me everything I needed in the ending part. That's why it's not a full five stars for me. And that's the only two books that I finished since I last talked to you. Um, but I am currently 
in the middle of Go Deep by Rils is it Rilsley Adams. Sorry, that first name is so hard for me to pronounce. For some reason, Rilsley Adams. This is a friends to lovers romance and everyone has read this but me. Like everyone who reads novellas has read this one except for me. So I decided to pick it up. Our heroine in here, she's a writer and she's getting some bad reviews on her like recent books saying that there's no real spark to her writing anymore. Things have kind of dried up and she's like, oh, what? And so her friend comes up with the idea of like, maybe she needs to get some experience go back out into the dating pool um to get more like experience firsthand experience for her books and so she kind of ropes in her best friend who just happens to be the hero in here um to help her out with her little problemo and so the two of them have been best friends since they were like in the womb and they've never really thought about each other in a romantic sense whatsoever so i'm like 30 percent of the way through that i'm really liking it so far and then i think i'm gonna pick up this novella. Um, this is Kennedy Ryan's new release and I've never read a Kennedy Ryan so this would be my first but it was just released as an audible exclusive and it's only like two and a half hours long so I, I need to pick it up. Everyone's been loving it. Maybe it'll be my first five star for this video. I'm excited to pick up my first Kennedy Ryan so um, I, I want to know if it has full cast narration because that would make it even better um, because I know audio, 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 audible originals are doing that. So anyway I thought I'd like mention um some of the things i got today i did go to the grocery store and i've been wanting to eat these like ever since i got back so i'm gonna open this bag i think these white cheetos are superior to regular cheetos don't come at me please <laughs> i love them way more i did get a package in the mail if you don't know i am a rep for faded romance oh. Which is like a paranormal monster romance book box you can get apparel as well as um monthly book boxes and the book boxes are based off of author so i know the april one for example is jillian graves so her two books that are currently out right now are going to be in that box with exclusive covers so if you really want to check out faded romance please check the link down below it's always going to be down there now because my rep code is going to be down there as well the code is ava10 you can use the rep code for the book boxes as well as the apparel and like other goodies i'm about to show you i'm on their merch team so i get sent um, all of their like merch items for like the season and get you promote it which is super fun um so first i have the little items and then i'll show you the bigger items um this is the first time i'm looking at these little items um because they were all in this little like envelope so let's let us see so i think there's stickers in here i see a bookmark Ooh, multiple bookmarks let's see i'm a sucker for a bookmark y'all know this also if you hear bone chewing i apologize it's ollie Okay, let him be, let him be. Okay, oh my gosh, look how cute the backs are. Like those lollipops and then all this cuteness. Oh my gosh, so this one says, reading challenge, read books with friends to lovers, fake dating, one bed, found family, fairy tale. And then a stack of books. Super cute. Like this would be great to put like with books. Like they have like an amazing, like I love bookmarks. I feel like this, like not too bendy. You know, I really like that. Okay, this one says, call your witchy matchmaker today <laughs> with a fake number on there, of course. So you can call it if you want and see what happens. Then I have some stickers. So first one, ooh, look how pretty this one is. This is Faded Romance Book Shop. That is beautiful. Like this box is also specifically geared towards like the paranormal fantasy alien romance lovers out there. So it is totally my vibe so i know a lot of my viewers also really love alien romances and so a lot of their bookish boxes are specifically alien romance themed but they have like other paranormal nests to them like the jillian graves box is mainly paranormal but i know they just did an ursa dax box um and a tiffany roberts box and those are both alien romance writers um so this sticker says i like my monsters tall blue and horned and it's a holographic one that is going on my ipad like immediately i have to take pictures of it first but you know what i mean okay so this one says read your heart out a tiny little one sorry you can't see the lighting's really bad when i put it close up so this one all about the hea with little like candies and then this one is a stack of books so cute okay so now let's get into the bigger items i have like three larger items which are so cute i'm obsessed like i'm so like grateful that they chose me to be a rep because like these items are so cute okay so first we have a cup let me get the straw out for it first they packaged everything nicely they have like pink bubble wrap with it oh i love 
big straws like this. Okay. It's this kind of cup. It says H-E-A all day. I love this. Oh, hello. You want, you want to know what this is? Okay. <laughs> he got up when he heard the cup. Hi. Oh no, he smells this. Right? Am I right? tail wags yep <laughs> you're not getting any dude no no i've learned my lesson from feeding dogs human food just by the way if you feed them too much human food your pet will get pancreatitis so and then the last two things are clothing items um they're both black so <laughs> it's gonna be surprising if you find a picture of me in these clothing items without some a singular dog hair on it because that's just how it is here um so this shirt says late night book club no sleep until hea with a little alarm clock on it Look how cute that is. And then the other one was actually one of the sticker designs I showed you, but on a sweatshirt. So this one says all about the HEA with like the little candy hearts. This looks so cozy. I need to take a bunch of Instagram pictures tomorrow. That's my goal for tomorrow um, for Saturday. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And then later tonight I have reading sprints in about an hour. And so I'm going to be on reading sprints with Rachel, Samantha, Tiffany, and then Carrie's gonna join us. And hopefully I can get some reading in. I really want to finish, um, go deep. I think I want to read the other Claire Kent books though. Like all three of us, because Samantha hasn't read them yet. I want her to, obviously. Um, but Tiffany and I were talking about how, and Rachel were saying that I just want to read all the other books too, which is something I totally want to do as well. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this weekend, but it's gonna happen. I'm just loving everyone is like enjoying this readathon. It's so fun reading these novellas and then just chatting with everyone. It's so fun. Hi everyone, it is Saturday. So day six of the readathon. My mom and I just got back from Walmart and so I thought I'd do a little bit of a Walmart haul. I have nothing to update book wise um, besides I am about 60% of the way through uh, go deep. Yeah, I just spent like three hours last night like, just like chatting with my friends on our live. Like it was so fun. I can't wait to do it again tomorrow. So um, I thought I would just show you what I got. Okay, I'm gonna hardly talk about these first two things because they're a secret. And my mom is one of those people who just like walks in. She doesn't knock, which I don't care, but so she'll just walk in. So look what I got her for Valentine's Day. How cute. Okay, and then my dad, a Spongebob mug. He was the dad who would uh, watch Spongebob with us as kids, so. Okay, rest, I have a bunch of two little chick, uh, two chicken broth boxes, and then my favorite tomato soup is this kind, um, the Pacific Foods Creamy Tomato Soup. Sorry, I'm like backlit, y'all. I apologize, um, but this is really yummy. Also, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I have celiac disease and I'm gluten-free, so everything here is gluten-free if it's food-related, obviously. <laughs> An example will be these amazing pretzels. I love them. They taste like real pretzels. They are delicious. I don't really drink anything except for water in my life. I'm a water girl. I love water. I love the taste of water. I love water, but sometimes I just need something different, so I like these little Propel packets. I'm, I'm the minority of people and I like the way Propel tastes, okay? Don't come at me. <laughs> So, um, I really like their berry flavors. There's like a little packet that I'll put in like a water bottle. I really like that. This giant thing of strawberries, me and my parents are gonna split. And then I also found these hazelnut wafer cookie things. They look really good. I really like this brand for gluten-free stuff. I can't pronounce it. Star, chair, I have no clue. Um, so they look really yummy. And then this is my last bag. Oh, I actually bought, my mom forgot to take it out of the cart for her cart, but this is her gift to my dad. <laughs> One of the gifts. I love you for real with the little puppy on there. So I gotta go give that to her to hide. And then I found these shoes for $10 um, that have like really good cushiony insides that are, I feel like great like shoes to wear at my school. So that's a plus. And then I got these two nail packs. I've heard really good things about Olive in June. And so I saw these two nail packs and I was like, I need to get them. Um, first one is this pink with glitter and it is uh, medium length. They're like instant press on nails. I know Riley really likes those brands. So I trust Riley. And then this one was really cute. 
Maybe you can't see very well because it's backlit, but um, let's see. Whoop. There we go. It's like pastel rainbowy. Very cute. So I'm gonna go put all those things away. Um, and I'm gonna go take some bookstagram pictures because that is what I wanted to do today and maybe film a few videos. Um, so that's on the agenda for today. I do want to finish Go Deep before I do all those things. Last night on the live show, oh, I got so many recommendations and um, there's another one there I want to listen to. Um, also, I did these this morning. They're sticker nails. Look at how cute. I got like a few of these sticker nail packs for Christmas. So um, I really want to try those almond June ones though. I'm kind of upset that I did the nails this morning before I picked, bought those because then I would have definitely put those on now. But you know what? I got these for Christmas. They're still pretty, okay? I just gotta wait for them to fall off. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm taking pictures and he's just like. Hi. Hello. You wanna be in my picture? Come here. Come on now. You wanna be in my picture? Come here. Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is one of the shirts that I got earlier in the vlog. As you saw, look how cute it is. I do probably need to iron it, but you know what? That's okay. I need to take pictures in this shirt. Oh, hello. And then in the um, sweatshirt also. Hello, hi. <laughs> it is the end of the novella-a-thon. It is Sunday. I know it's only like around a noon time on Sunday, but I'm going to be ending the vlog here ending my readathon experience here i think i had an amazing readathon in total i ended up reading 12 novellas so i have to update you really fast on the last four that i read i did mention earlier in this video that i was reading go deep by rilsley adams i think that's how you pronounce your name i never know how to pronounce your name is it risley or rils rilsey rilsey i think it's rilsey <laughs> I apologize, I'm so sorry. Y'all, I'm so bad with pronunciations. That's why I don't care if people like, just correct me, please. Like I want people to correct me because I want to say it right. Okay, Um. so I finished this one. I'm going to give it four stars. This was such a great and fun friends to lovers novella. Like I love me a friends to lovers. This was such a treat to read. There were just certain aspects in here that I wish were more developed upon because I am a friends to lovers romance girly. I absolutely love friends to lovers. I wish we got more of the progression, if that makes sense. I feel like their physical relationship happened too fast for my liking when it comes to friends to lovers, but that is what a hot novella is supposed to be so i'm not discounting that um it's just my personal preference you know but i overall really enjoyed this one and it's there's a reason why this book is so loved because it's it's a really good read then i ended up listening to coming home by kennedy ryan this was my first kennedy ryan book <laughs> and it was so cute it was so cute if you don't know this is an audible original and if you have an audible membership you're able to listen to some of their like short stories that they have on there for free. Like they have a catalog of like free short audiobooks most of the time. And this one released literally a few days ago and people have been loving it. So I decided to pick it up. And it's about a guy who knew this girl in college. He was crushing on her hardcore and they shared a kiss one night after they got a little intoxicated after a party in college. But she had a boyfriend and she felt very guilty um, about kissing him and they haven't seen each other in years, even though both of their careers have take it off you know um they're both celebrities essentially and so it's like 10 over 10 years since they last saw each other it's been years because now his daughter is homecoming queen for um the college and so they haven't seen each other in a very long time they have not interacted with each other at all and the two of them have to do like an interview together on campus because they're two of the most um famous alumni from the campus. So um, this was a really good read. I also gave this one four stars. I just honestly wanted more from it. <laughs> I wanted this to be a full length book, but that's just, that's just me in my opinion. I know so many people who gave this book five stars. So take with that what you will. Really did love Kennedy Ryan's writing though. Ryan's writing, that's like a tongue twister for me. I really liked Kennedy Ryan's writing <laughs> and I can't wait to read more of her books because 
my friends just I, they love her books and I can't wait to join the bandwagon then I read two books that I have not mentioned yet I ended up picking up Sweet Dreams by Jamie Schlosser um Jamie Schlosser is one of my favorite fantasy romance authors and I'm trying to read more of her backlist and this is one of the very few novellas that Jamie Schlosser has and this one funnily enough is a book series um created by other authors like other authors uh, bleh, other authors have contributed to this series um and they're just like short valentine's day romance novellas but i think these came out in 2021 and i had no idea before picking this up that this was valentine related until i saw the cover and i was like oh okay plus for me i ended up giving this one three stars this is about our heroine heroine who are in college and they've been dating for six months but they haven't done anything besides kiss basically and both of them are like how do i get out of this zone i want to go further um because they're both like in love with each other they just are both innocent characters and don't really know how to proceed in this situation and the last book i want to mention is i think my only five star for this video it's uh, a baby for the outcast by cassie mint i thoroughly loved this y'all i i loved this so our heroine in here answers like a newspaper ad um for being an artist's assistant and that is our hero in here he is an artist but he's a recluse in this town on like the top of this mountain he owns this very big house he's a very prolific painter um but he's a shut-in because he was in an accident a few years ago that left him with a limp he walks with a cane now and um because of his injury, he's now heavily scarred. And so he doesn't really go out, wanna go out in public and be judged by other people. Um, and it is painful for him to walk a lot. So he has an assistant now to help him get materials that he is not able to get from outside of his home. And so she becomes his live-in assistant. And right when she moves in, he starts having these dreams <laughs> about her. Until one night, um, she's very scared by a storm and goes to kind of like seek comfort with him to like ask if she can like hang out with him for a little bit while the storm passes because she's super scared. Um, but he uh, wakes up and thinks it's one of his dreams and um, they have a night together. I don't want to spoil anything else, but you can kind of like guess on the cover like what happens and um, in the title what happens. But I loved this. I didn't need any more from it. It was such a perfect little snippet of like a couple's life and how they got together. Like, I, I adored this. It was so good. <laughs> so those were all of the books that I ended up reading for the novella-a-thon. I ended up reading 12 books. Woohoo! I didn't think I would read that much because I just got my new job. So, um... I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Let me just say that. I just want to thank Rachel, Tiffany, and Samantha for doing this with me. Y'all are so incredibly sweet. I love you so much. I actually have sprints with them in about like three hours. So I'm only going to be on there for a very short time. There's a reason why I can't read any more books for this readathon is because I'm going to be filming a bunch of videos later today. And then I have to drive like an hour away for a family dinner. <laughs> so um, I'm not able to stay for the live show very long and read really any more books today. So um, I want to thank these lovely ladies for being such wonderful co-hosts. Like this is like one of the best readathons I've ever been a part of because like it was so fun. Like all this readathon is about is reading short, fun books. And that's what we all did. That's what we all did. And I loved, oh my gosh, I loved our group chat because we just keep sending each other novellas and all of us are like, oh, my TBR is growing. I want to read these, but darn, you're like making my TBR grow. Like, I love it. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for making this readathon so amazing. I can't wait to check out their videos. I believe all of them are going to be vlogging or posting a wrap-up video in some form or fashion. So be on the lookout for that. All of them are linked down below, by the way, if you're not following my friends like get on it please because they're amazing anyways i'm gonna wrap it up there let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a baby <laughs> a baby emoji or a pregnancy emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all